Thanks for joining us this morning. Thanks. Um, last week, split a pair of road contests. Uh, one at uh, rival Lee's McCray right down the road here, and then uh, went to Emmanuel, who, new to the conference, but isn't an easy place to play, and, and suffered a, a defeat there. Um, what are some of the things, you know, that's been going on that maybe you can improve these last few weeks? And last week, I guess, that they kind of in the funk here, late in the year. Um, well, I, I think probably the main thing for us is just our ability to, to score um, as far as improving that, making making shots. Um, you know, right right now we're averaging, I think, just a shade under 62 points a game. Um, we'd, like to, we'd like to score a little bit more than that. Um, you know, basically, if you look at um, most of our wins, if we get into the 60s, um, we feel really good uh, about being able to win. Um, if we don't, if we don't hit the 60s, I think we won a couple games in the 50s, but um, you know that's that's the biggest challenge for us right now is is for whatever reason is is being able to score defensively. We feel like we can hold teams down um, for the most part. We've done that all year, so yeah, I guess that's kind of one of the positives when the offense might not be there. The defense could usually, in, in most cases, have come up big and, and come up with in, in the low scoring game to come up with a win there. Um, Good sitting second in Conference Carolinas right now, right in the right behind Limestone, and and then there's a group of teams right behind there. So we got five games left. King kind of controls the you own know, where where we go in, in terms of Conference Carolinas tournament seating. Uh, this week is big Erskine, and then Belmont Abbey down the road. Um, how important are there these last five games to get that number two seed and, and finish high in conference? Uh, they're really important, and um, you know right now with that bunch of teams right behind us, I think there's. There's four teams right behind us, a game behind. Um, you know, a lot can happen in these last five games. So, obviously, controlling our own destiny and, um, you know, winning as many games as possible um, is, is what we're going to try to do, and hopefully we can do that. Yeah, and I guess it's a long season and it comes out of these five games, which is, is kind of what you, what you got to hope for, I guess, as a, as a coach and a player. Oh, yeah. You mentioned the offense kind of struggled a little bit. One of the bright spots has been Tia Kitt, so the last – few weeks. Um, she shot over 45% last week. Can you just talk about her senior leadership leading the, from the point guard position leading the team out there? Yeah, she's done a great job all year long. We're really um, happy with how she's developed as a leader. and um, She's always been a hard worker, um, a great listener, and uh, you know she's improved over a four-year span um, uh, as much as any player I've ever, ever coached. So that's really a testament to her character and, and everything. And um, you know, she's uh, if she, if she plays well, um, you know, we got a great shot at, at winning, and she's played well a lot this year, you know, so, um, you know, hopefully she can she can finish out strong. Yeah, and it, it's, got, I guess, one of the nice things for her is she's got a few options, both on the outside and inside, with Amy and Bonnie and, and uh, Allie and then Chelsea and some of the other shooters on the outside. It's nice for point guard to have options like that. Yep. Um, back into the defense, one thing, King, is they rank in the top ten in points per game, uh, defensive points per game, and then field goal percentage and three-point field goal percentage. Can you kind of talk about the mentality defensively and what you try and teach and instill in your team? Yeah, I mean, we're uh, uh, we're really proud of that. We're also, last I checked, we're number one in the country in, in least amount of fouls per game, which I think those those stats that you gave about the other things mean even even more when you when you look at that. And also, I think that means more. I mean, you could be a bad defensive team and just not foul. Yeah. You know, um, but the fact that we're a very good defensive team and we don't foul um, is something that, that we teach and um, we try to teach them good discipline on the defensive end. And um, you know, we, we've we've just been able to uh, to get them to a point where um, where they play a good, solid team defense. We, we've got um, some good individual defenders, and uh, you know, I mean, they're just they're working hard and doing what we're telling them to do. So. Yeah, that's going to be one of the big keys down the stretch here is defense and getting stops, especially late in games. Uh, big week upcoming here, uh, two home games. First one tonight, Erskine, which, which is a really big one. They're one of those teams in that group right behind King in the conference standings. And then Saturday, Southern Wesleyan. Um, what are some of the keys to coming out with a win, I guess, more specifically on Wednesday, and then just, you know, kind of cap the week 2-0 with, if, if that's the way it goes? Yeah. Um, well, I mean, number one is that we've got to come out and work hard and have a good effort. I think for the most part, um, we've been pretty consistent with that. We've had some games where where we haven't had it, and um, it usually doesn't work out too well. So that's really the number one key. Um, and when we have that effort, 
um, and they're working hard, usually on the defensive end, um, we get the job done. You know, and like I said before, the big challenge that just kind of comes and goes is I know we have the ability to score and we've got good shooters and people that can can make plays, um, but for whatever reason, sometimes we, we struggle, you know, scoring wise. So um, so that'll be that'll be really key um, for Wednesday and Saturday. Um, you know, Erskine, they're, they're a high scoring team. I think they average around a little over 70 a game. Um, you know, so I mean, being able to hold them down and obviously being able to, um, you know, score the basketball is, is going to be key. So. Yeah, exactly. Uh, if you haven't been out here, come on out Wednesday night. That's at 5.30 against Erskine. Should be a good game. I uh, beat them there earlier in the year at Erskine. So should be a good one at 5.30 in the Student Center. And then Saturday, Southern Wesleyan at 2 p.m. here in the Student Center. Hope to see you out here. If not, links on kingtornado.com to, to view live stats and the live feed. Thanks for joining us and good luck this week. All right, thanks.